So if you like to take a split stance, taking one foot forward and coming onto your toes and your back foot. So it may be best if I spin around to profile. So we want to be in this kind of position here. And again, we're going to place one hand over the shoulder and one hand over the other shoulder and slowly breathe in, come down, back knee towards the floor, breathe out and come up. Keeping good knee alignment over the toes and the front knee. Okay. And again, we're going to go for we're going to go for up to six each leg on this one, guys. All right. So again, those of you who don't quite get there, don't worry. Just try and land on um, an even number. Try and not do like you know five one side and four the other. Otherwise, we'll have a slight symmetry issue. Okay. Let's go. Excellent. So as you can see here, JR is keeping the knee over the toes, keeping good knee alignment. This makes all the ligaments work together as opposed to one stretching one way and one the other. That's causing knee problems, which we certainly don't want. Excellent, Cs. That's perfect. Good. Just keep nice and upright, Jay. That's it. Chest out, shoulders back. Fantastic. Okay, guys, when we reach six, let's change over. We're really starting to feel a bit of a burn in the legs now, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, let's go. So breathe in, breathe out. Good, Cs. That's great. The lower we can get towards the ground, the better in this exercise. That's the greater range of motion we're going to go through. But if you're starting to really feel it now, just don't go as low. Just literally just come down to where you feel you can and back up. The key thing is keeping a nice, slow, controlled pace. Great. Feeling all right? Yes. Yeah? Suze? Yeah, feel good. Cool, good stuff.